Looks like we've got a 25 euro uh, bomb pot. And for those of you guys who don't know what a bomb pot is, everyone gets dealt a hand and it's straight to the flop. Which makes things interesting, especially in uh, Five Guard Omaha. Anyone can have anything. And uh, there's no real knowledge of the pre-flop ranges. It does mean that people are pretty honest post-flop. You don't see an awful lot of bluffing. I feel like the, it's a game that should involve a lot of bluffing. But ends up being quite honest uh, on flops and turns, that's for sure, when it's extremely multi-way. So as you see here, Jimmy has top set, so he's just going to lead out for 200. Sergey Cooling with uh, the nut flush draw. What else has he got? Bottom two pair as well, which are kind of redundant. And actually does have incredibly 0%. Um, Romeo is in there with a 10 high flush draw in Queen 10 for the open ender. Definitely some equity there. Rock, not too sure what he's got. Just one pair by the looks of things. And uh, Nick has do, 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 Queen, Queen, Jack 10. So blocks top set. Has an open ender. Has a good flush draw as well. And uh, possibly might be raising this. Yeah, it looks like he's going to shovel it in. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy has top set. So Nick is looking for uh, not that card. And then Ace isn't going to get it done either. I think it looks like Sergey stacked off two and won the side pot. So a bit of a disaster there for Nick. Um, with the ace on the river as Sergey improved. Oh, no, no, sorry. Let's have a look. What did Nick have? Do, do, do. He just had queens, but Sergey had bottom two on the flop. So was desperately looking for a king or an eight to uh, scoop a loop. Couldn't find one. 2.5k pot is going to be mostly going in the direction of Jimmy with his top set.